So imagine this. Way back in the far off year of 1977, a bunch of science nerds from a small business called NASA sent a thingy thing into space, and they just kind of hoped that that thing would be found by other things that weren't from the thing we're currently on, which is Earth. A few years passed, and now it's 2017, and the science nerds got a call back from the thing they sent into space. Basically, a bunch of aliens called Argonians had found it, and they wanted to come meet the Earth nerds. When they did, they saw how lame Earth's technology was, and they went, Yo, your stuff really freaking sucks, and you're bad. Let us help you make it not suck. And then the humans just went, Okay. Bet. Side tangent real quick. Argonians look just like humans, except their eyes are purple. So that's freaking weird. So now a few more years have passed and Earth has joined the Forge Between Worlds, which was essentially just the United Nations, but for space. So Earth joined the Space UN and found out about the existence of new life all over the Milky Way. They found out there were robot planets, they found out there really were Martians on Mars, they found out that there was a whole race of bird people. There was a whole universe of alien races and species that had all been working together and exploring for eons, and Earth was just now realizing that they were late to the party. Earth was just space Florida, like we were the armpit of the universe, and that was a massive blow to our self-confidence. So. That freaking sucked, but moving on, humans began to eventually have kids with some of these new alien races, and they found out that there was this whack chemical reaction that would happen when the iron in human blood would mix with the alien blood inside the hybrid offspring, giving these human-alien hybrid kids superpowers. These hybrid kids were given a super long and annoying scientific name. They were called Terra Super Monday Hybrida. But the majority of humans are really dumb, so they couldn't really say that. So they were given the slang term, Earthy. Given there was now a frickload of superpowered alien hybrid kids going around, they all started wanting to be superheroes. And that was kind of a problem until the title of superhero became an actual paying profession. Does this sound familiar at all? Fast forward a little bit again, and that brings us to the main story of Anomaly. Enter the protagonist, Brendan. Now Brendan has ADHD, and apparently people don't like that. No, 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 no. So Brendan and his two friends are students at a totally normal school, save the fact that half of the student body has superpowers because they're Earthies, which are those hybrid kids that we talked about. Brendan, Kale, and Jacob are all Earthies, and they all want to be superheroes, but they think that their school's superhero training program is cringe, because they live in California, and everyone knows that the North American school system is broken and stupid. Luckily, there's a better school they can attend, specialized in making future superheroes. This school was called Guard University despite not actually being a university or even a college for that matter. Try to figure that one out. I still haven't, and I'm the freaking writer. So that's fun. The school preps these heroes with one threat in mind, a dictator named Palua. Palua's just kind of a douchebag. Like he's, he's just pretty much space Benito Mussolini, but his character's like really freaking cool, so I, I, I think it's fine, it, it checks out. Brendan and his buddies make it their main goal to want to stop this guy. But at the end of the day, they literally just started puberty, so they're basically screwed. Luckily, plot armor exists, and that is all I will tell you for now. To learn the full story, I guess you just gotta watch the show. That, that's it's just the way it is. I'm not I, I'm just the messenger. So to sum all that up, NASA sent the Voyager 2 satellite to find aliens. They found those aliens. Those aliens helped them better the technology of Earth and accidentally created superhumans as a side effect. And now one of those superhumans became a dictator and a dyslexic quirked up white boy wants to fight that dictator. Now go support the pilot episode.
please. I love you.